You were shy and you did not consider yourself particularly social adept. Is that what led to, let me say, suspicions and at least half diagnosis that you had Asperger's syndrome when you were younger? Mm. It was, um, yes, I had uh, been taken out of school for about a year. Um, I, you know, always since I was a baby, I always rocked. I always, you know, would get hypnotized by fires. And I wouldn't say I was introverted. I was more out there somewhere. I was <laughs> off in the dream world all the time and didn't, was not very communicative and in the 60s um, you know they did like Rorschach tests and right. things it wasn't very literally you know, yeah yeah right. it was like here's an ink blot what does that mean and you know my answers were all wrong apparently and so um, they recommended to my mom to put me on some some medications and institutionalize me and I'm so thankful that she didn't because I'd probably still be there today if she had. She took me out of school. Um, she kind of just let me, you know, sort of exist in my imaginary world for a, a good year or so and and um, and sort of slowly reintegrated me back into, to, um, you know, into the normal world, whatever that means. <laughs> but it's always been an awkward fit, you know? And um, But I, I definitely, as I grow older, I've definitely learned how to, um, how to deal with it better. I'm, I still struggle. I still am not, uh, uh, I'm not comfortable. I'm not an extrovert. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a natural exhibitionist or anything.